So today we are starting the data structure. Well, talking about the data structure, whenever we are going to represent the data, that is called the data structure. Well, if we are going to the definition of data structure, then it is saying that it is the logical or the mathematical model. Means logically or mathematically, there is some kind of model which is going to organize the data in some way. That means we are going to store the data into the memory in some order that is called the data structure. But thing is that which kind of data structure we are using because there are many data structure like array, linked list, stack, queue, graph, tree. There are multiple data structure, but in which way we are going to store that, that will depend upon the system. So once we are going through all these things, we will learn that whatever is our requirement, based upon our requirement, we are going to use the data structure. So now we are going to discuss the types of data structure. Well, there are two categories of uh, the data structure. The first one is primitive and second one is non-primitive. In the diagram, it is also mentioned that there is a data structure and the data structure is of two types. The first one is primitive and second one is non-primitive. So first of all, we are focusing on the primitive data structure. We can make the short form of data structure as DS. So primitive DS. Now talking about the primitive data structure, it is the very basic data structure which are available. That means the machine instructions can directly work upon that and it is very much difficult for representation in the different different computers means if the computer is different, then it will give you the different representation. So we are now covering the primitive data structure. The first thing is that it is the basic data structure means in the starting whenever we are ha having some structure then it is the primitive so it is the basic structure then it directly operate on machine instruction directly operate on machine instruction that means if the machine is going to give some instruction or the human is giving instruction on machine so they can work directly means they are directly work on the machine just like we are having zero and ones which are directly work on the machine similarly the primitive data structure work on the machine instruction directly there is nothing involved in between and the third thing which is important it is having different representation on different machine they are having different representation on different machine meaning is that some of the books are saying that integer is having two byte. Many of the system are saying integer is having four byte. So integer is same, but how much memory they are consuming? How much we are going to represent them? What is the way of representation? That depend upon machine to machine. Although the, the integer is going to take the integer values. That is very much simple, but their range, their way of representation that depend upon the different different machine. Maybe I am using some other windows or you are using some other windows or maybe some other operating system, then the representation will be different. So now we are taking about the examples of the primitive data structure. So if we take their example, then these are the first one is integer, then float, corrector and pointer. Well, they are also mentioned in the diagram as well, the integer. So the first one primitive data structure which we are having is the integer. I am taking some examples to make you understand that how this integer float character are going to work. Let us suppose that if we are going to declare an integer in the memory, we usually say int a is equal to 10. The meaning is that in the memory, there is a block which is reserved and the name of that block is A and it can store the value which is 10. Similarly, we are having the float. Float contain the floating type of values. Let us suppose if I declare a float, then float, let us suppose F, float F is equal to Suppose we are taking some value 9.7. 
So float contain the point value 9.7, 6.3. Now it will reserve a block in the memory and this block will be given some name which is F and it will contain the value which is 9.7. If I used to say the character, then we used to use char, char C. Character contain the values like A, B, C, small a, small c. So small and the uppercase characters are there. Let us suppose we are taking an uppercase character A. So they are represented in the single comma. Now it is going to reserve a memory and that will be C and it will be having a character A. Next one we are having is the pointer. We know that pointer is a special data type which is going to take out the some other address. Now let us suppose that we are having an integer pointer. Supposingly we have uh, A which is already declared and we know that this A is having the address. Let us suppose 102. So the value is 10 and the address is 102. If I say int star so that star signify it is a pointer if i say int star p so one pointer is declared and if we are saying that is equal to and and means address of a now what is going to happen there will be a memory block of pointer type so the name of that memory is p which is a pointer actually it may contain its own address that doesn't matter but it is having the address of A. So inside the P, it is having the address of A. So now P is having the value which is 102. That means P is directly going to point to the address of A. So that is the pointer. So that we have already learned into the C programming because we know that the data structure is the next level of C programming. That's why these all are considered into the primitive data structure. So integer, float, character and pointer. These are the primitive data structure. And now we are moving to the non-primitive data structure. The next type of data structure which we are having is the non-primitive data structure. Well, talking about the non-primitive data structure, they are more sophisticated. Sophisticated means they are for some specific task and they are derived from the primitive. Means using the primitive we are going to create the non-primitive. So we can say that they are more sophisticated data structure. Means they are going to specify some specific task and they are having some set of rules. And they are derived from primitive data structure. Well, that is important. By using integer, float, character and pointer, we are going to declare the different data structure and they are called the non-primitive data structure. And their examples are just like we are having array, list and file. So array, list and file, these are the non-primitive data structure which are taken from the primitive. So here in the diagram they are also mentioning array, list and file. So I am telling you all these things one by one to make you understand. I am taking one example of the array. Let us suppose that we are having int a3 is equal to 7, 8, 9. Now we know that this is an array we have declared it which is a 1D array. And it is going to declare the array with three memory locations. Now it will start from index value 0, 1 and 2. And the name of array will be A. Now inside the A we are going to store the values which are given. So these values are 7, 8 and 9. So this is the 1D array which we have already discussed into the C programming. And this array is uh, the part of the non-primitive data structure. Although we are having the 2D array and 3D array also. So whenever we are going to the arrays, then we will come to that discussion that 
2D array and 3D array and how they are going to work. Then the second thing which we are having is the list. Whenever we are going to create any type of list, any of the sequence, let us suppose that this is a list and here we are going to add on the different different numbers or the data. Let us suppose that we are entering 7, 6, 3, 12. So some kind of data which we are going to enter that is called the list. So we are going to create the list and list is the linear and the non-linear. Linear means they are into a specific sequence and long linear means they are not surely into the sequence. So I will tell you what is the linear and non-linear but first of all we are going to the next thing which is the file. So file means we are having a file where we are going to store the data. To understand the file we must know one thing. Whenever we are writing a program we usually write that program into the primary memory. So that is the program and if we are writing anything inside that, that is into the primary memory. Whenever we are going to close that program, all the values which are stored inside that, let us suppose that we have given the value of A as 10 or maybe some value, all the values will be lost. So in the file handling, we are going to store that program output or some values inside the file. So this is called the file handling which also comes inside that. So there inside the file we are going to store some value and whenever required we can take out that thing back in the program. Let us suppose that we are opening the program after two or three days and we want the same values which we have stored. Then we need the file. So through file we can take out those values. We must know one thing program store all the variables into the primary memory and the file store everything into the secondary memory that means the hard disk and hard disk take out those value till the long time. So that means if I have to store my name or something permanently through the program then I will use the file. So there in the non-primitive we are having the list and the files. So now till now we have seen that data structure is of two types. One is primitive. Primitive means there is a basic directly work on the machine instruction and they are having the different different representation on the machine, different machines like integer, float, character and pointer. Then the next type of data structure which we are having is the non-primitive. Non-primitive are derived from the primitive data structure just like array, list and file.